What's going on everybody? Ride with Will here and I kind of wanted to discuss the DRZ400. Well, unfortunately, it seems Suzuki is not releasing the 2020 DRZ and probably not even the 2021 from what I was hearing. But maybe on their future comings, they will rework the DRZ400. I kind of wanted to voice out my opinion on the most popular dual sport to date and just have fun, a, you know, a, a fun discussion on it. This looks pretty loose up here. This is loose loam stuff that really kicks your bike's ass. And we're both running dual sport tires. See, for years, uh, DRZ400 kept its traditional setup with minor tweaks in between. But without a doubt, the DRZ400 still continues to be the best dual sport around. Man, it is just too dang reliable. Power is perfect and I even consider it to be beginner friendly bike as I have started on this bike with no issues. I personally think it is a great bike to grow into and possibly forever keep. And the DRZ400 is just an awesome bike for trail riding. So what about the 2020 DRZ400? Ah, for the heck of it, let's say the 2022 DRZ400. Let's just say they are planning something. Now, we all know controversy is going to be generated, but four things I would love DRZ400 to do to their bikes. Six gears, a wide gear transmission, ABS, and EFI. Now, hear me out. Most people who still want the traditional DRZ400, there is still going to be plenty of circulation around. So, Suzuki making the DRZ400 the same exact way it has been for years is just something... It's just not going to do anything for them anymore. They already know most people will either buy a used DRZ400 or wait for something new to come around like what I am waiting for. So here's a pretty cool idea that Suzuki can do. See there has always been three kinds of people in the two wheel worlds. When it comes to the DRZ400 I guess you can say. Dual sport guys, adventure traveling guys, and supermoto guys. Yep, you guys already know exactly who I'm talking about. So I think the DRZ400 should separate these three into a category when it comes to their bikes. Suzuki had it right when it came to splitting the dual sport and supermoto, but how about rally? Something adventure riders can use similar to the Honda 250 rally. So adventure motorcycles came up with an awesome concept calling it the DRZ450 rally concept. Yeah that extra uh, 50cc you know most of us are gonna love it and definitely use that extra power. See if DRZ450 came out with the really mo uh, rally model, I will be the first in line to buy one. The thing is, I live in Colorado and we have way too many routes and dirt roads that we just can't trailer to. Instead we have to dual sport our way to them and ride, ride out to them. Sure a standard DRZ400 will do, but Honestly, I prefer something with a rally setup and much more com comfortable for a, a weekend getaway for exploring on routes. Come on, my dear. For the dual sport fanatics who just want to ride out to tr to the trails and explore and just have a great time, well, that is when the standard DRZ450, let's call it, can come into play. We all know that uh, most dual sport freaks love that six gear for cruising and they always try to find one. Yet alone if it has selectable ABS similar to the KTM 690 or the 701. We all know that's a great safety feature, and when you're hitting the dirt roads, just turn it off, that's it. So most people will say, why not get a Husky 701 or a KTM 690? Well, although they are great bikes and I have an Enduro model of them, when it comes to daily use and reliability, 
there is no way that can compare to Japanese reliability. I mean, DRZ400 has been proven to hit 40k, 50k miles on a stock top end, as long as you take care of them. Heck, even if you don't take care of them, set them on fire and they will still ride out alive, and they will still hit 50k miles even if you probably don't yet ever do an oil change. That's how crazy reliable they are. So as we're going down the trail, it definitely looks better. More rocks exposed than last year, that's for sure. Here, last year. This is incredibly rocky. This is no longer the easier, the easy trail I used to know. Wow. Uh. So I get it, guys. So adding six gear and EFI and who knows what else, a rally raid kit to it, you know, maybe it will be like an extra two or three thousand dollars to purchase this uh, brand new DRZ, let's say 450. But I'm sure, I'm willing to bet, a lot of people will pay that money, including myself, to have a bike like that. I can get rid of like two or three of my bikes and substitute it just for this DRZ 400. Especially for people who live in states like Colorado, Wyoming, and Utah, who has a lot of, you know, exploring to do, and just can't trailer to trailer their bikes to the trails, they just ride it out straight from their home and get exploring. But anyhow, this is just a little bit of a fun video. Hope you guys liked it, and tell me what you guys think about the DRZ 400 and maybe the DRZ 450 in the comments below. And uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy the video, and I'll catch you guys in my next one.